Hey guys, Leif here from uh, iTech Office Technology. Today I'd like to show you uh, how the new uh, web browser function works and looks on the uh, new Konica Minolta Bishub uh, E series. This is the uh, Konica Minolta Bishub C224E and this applies to the whole range of E series. This is the uh, new uh, web browser function on the uh, on the new Konica Minolta Bishub E series of products like this. It's the uh, C224E and you'll see the web browser icon is uh, highlighted and enabled on the home screen. There may be a cost involved. Ask your service provider if, if the web browser is not highlighted because you do need a, uh, a web browser license kit installed and some uh, additional memory and uh, there may be a cost involved but uh, I'm going to select the web browser and you can see a familiar web browser uh, on here it's now displaying the iTech Office Technology website uh, if I go into into this website I'm going to show you some of the functions or why you would use a web browser uh, I'm going to select uh, uh, how-to guides that we've got on the uh, on our website. Uh, so this is uh, now I'm browsing uh, my website, and there's a few how-to guides. You can see I can scroll down, and there's a few uh, documents there. I'm going to select the bottom one uh, using the machine poster. This is a part of the user guide uh, files for the bisubs. So when I select uh, or click on a PDF file, I then get an option to, I can either print it, I can view it, or I can save it. Save it means saving it in a user box. But if I select view, you can see you then get the PDF viewer up on the screen, and it's now loading down or downloading the PDF and viewing that. Um, there's a few uh, uh, different options on the menu at the top of the screen as you can see uh, there's a save button and a print button uh, you can rotate and flick through pages as you go along uh, I'm now going to select to print this document so now I'm printing a PDF you can see it was flickering a bit there but that's part of the download process it's now ready to print so I'll select the print icon at the top and you can see the start button is not highlighted here yet. There's just a bit of a uh, one setting you need to adjust on there. If I go to the paper setting, I have to select what paper I'd like to print that on. So I'm going to select A4 there because the default uh, setting is to have no selection on the paper. Now the start button is enabled and I can hit start to print that and it's now preparing for printing, downloading the file and uh, away we go. So this could be used in many different ways. You could browse something like your say your uh, in-house uh, uh, SharePoint website or if you have an in internal website you can access any documents uh, live uh, on your local website or you can of course browse any website and uh, you always get the up-to-date uh, uh, files to be printed and uh, that's it that's now printed I can go back to my main menu and uh, and you can see that that's it thank you for watching uh, this uh, YouTube tutorial hopefully you found it uh, useful and you could uh, learn something uh, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, if you'd like uh, more updates on new videos as they become available or leave a comment or if you have any questions just feel free to post, uh, post that on our channel and we'll try to answer them. Thank you, see ya!